It'll be a few more years before astronauts fly again in American spacecraft, but when they do, the vehicles will be developed by private companies, not by NASA. John Blackstone reports we got our first look today at a new kind of ship that doesn't need a launch pad. The wingspan of this plane is greater than the length of a football field. Now just think about that for a second. Paul Allen, the billionaire co-founder of Microsoft, has a plan to build the world's biggest airplane and use it to launch rockets into Earth orbit. The twin fuselage craft will be powered by six Boeing 747 engines and have a wingspan of 385 feet, nearly double that of a 747. It will carry a rocket to 30,000 feet and then blast off, an easier way to get into space than climbing through the thick atmosphere close to the Earth's surface. It may sound fanciful, but Allen has the help of legendary aircraft designer Bert Rutan. I would love to be able to be out there searching for other breakthroughs so that we can have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people uh, able to experience that view. In 2004, Rutan and Allen together built Spaceship One, a similar but much smaller system that became the first privately funded spacecraft to fly outside the atmosphere twice in two weeks. We have a long road to... Allen won't say how much he intends uh, to spend on straddle launch, uh, but says it eventually should make money launching private satellites and carrying payloads for NASA. I'm very excited. Allen won't say how long it will be until he'll be offering rides to humans, but says he won't be among the first to fly. Personally, I think I'm going to wait for you know a large number of those flights to happen before I'll think about it. I'm actually a fairly conservative guy in some aspects. The goal is to go from this model to a test flight by 2015 and the first launch of a rocket by 2016. John Blackstone, CBS News, Seattle.